How's it going guys? My name is Marco. Welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to talk about the situation in Italy for the virus, the new virus, the coronavirus. What is happening? Uh, why people hate Italy in this moment? Uh, what's the life here? Uh, what's truly happening? What's the virus? So let me start with one thing. I live in the red area which is like Italy is all a red area which is like contaminated a quarantine people are not allowed to exit people are not allowed to enter but I live in the red area in the red area which means I live in Veneto which is uh, where Venice Verona all these uh, places all these towns are and this is like the place in Italy where people think that the um, virus started so basically I mean the worst area possible so like in Italy every time that you turn on the TV what you hear is just coronavirus this is the news of the day this is the news of the month so you just turn on the radio you just turn on the TV you just turn on every single media that you want and you just listen all about politicians journalists everybody talking about this new virus and what they say is simply that you should just go you just you should just stay home uh, you're not allowed to go uh, close to one meter right now from from today it's two meters from another person you have to wash your hand really carefully uh, for at least one minute and you have to use masks you have to use the gel for your hands like alcohol for your hands to wash the virus away all these kinds of things that like in the beginning it was great because it's like some sort of protection but now it's getting ridiculous like cinemas theaters uh, events everything's cancelled you cannot go to cinema you cannot go anywhere where there's more than 10 people no more than eight people so even if you go to a bar and you want to drink something like a coffee or something like real simple you cannot you have to wait outside of the bar and wait until the bartender gi gives you the coffee from the inside it's crazy like the situation is getting crazy I'm not anti the coronavirus like I think that it's a problem and that we should protect from this problem but I think that this is not protection this is a money this is like a a movement I think this is um, a way to exploit boredom of people and make them super anxious about something about a problem make them uh, like this is psychological terrorism to make people talk about something to finally make people watch TV again to finally make people listen to media again because uh, right now they just talk about that and every day is worse every day is worse every day is like okay there's more people that there's more people con uh, contagious contagious in quarantine but I don't know uh, like if you go to social media or if you go outside it's not that crazy as you see in TV like if you go I work for example part-time in a just in a shopping center here which is very big and there's like a lot of people every day you struggle to find parking spots so it's not actually what people want you to see and now in Europe people hate Italy like you cannot go abroad you cannot travel and me in my zone Veneto I come from this zone if you want to go also to Rome or other parts of Italy they're gonna see you as a as a zombie they're gonna see you as a monster oh please don't touch me uh, in Europe like France just released a video on their TVs on their medias talking bad about Italy and it's crazy like everybody's hating on my country everybody's hating on my place on my town on Verona on Veneto and it's because of this virus I mean I tell you I believe in the virus I believe that is happening I believe that we should protect I believe uh, I believe in everything they, they say but I don't believe in psychological terrorism I don't believe in I like I've been studying communication and marketing and I have a master degree in communication and I know how media works how media work 
and I cannot understand what they're doing. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I'm not worried about the virus like my fathers, like my father or my mother do. They bought like, I think 1000 euros of stuff in their fridge, in their kitchen. There's like so much stuff because they are afraid that you go outside and you can't find anything because people are getting crazy. People are getting crazy here. They just go out and they buy whatever they can do because they think that there will be an apocalypse in, a, I don't know, in one week or they just believe that, I don't know, they're getting crazy. Like you cannot find the masks or the, um, the gel for your hands anywhere. You cannot find it. And on eBay or on Amazon, they're getting too expensive, like 200 euros for a mask. So people are starting using bras as a mask. It's crazy, guys. The situation is incredible. I cannot even tell you, like if you come here, you feel like, um, you feel like something's happening, but actually nothing's happening. Like, okay, there is flu. It's an influence. It's a flu, a little bit more powerful. And even doctors say it. Like if you talk to a doctor here, if you go to a doctor to a hospital and you ask to a doctor, they will tell you, yeah, it's just a powerful influence and it's new. So we have to find a cure, but it's not that bad as people think. People die every day from some sort of infections or flus or whatever. So it's not that bad. It's just the, the bad thing, the monstrous and big thing is not the virus itself. It's what is around the virus. It's the media, it's the people talking about it. It's the community around the virus. It's the marketing and whatever is happening around the virus. All these Shopify stores online that are open selling these things. All the media that now have millions of views on their journals or on their um, little spot on TV. All these Twitter accounts that have crazy growth because they talk about coronavirus and they use that hashtag. This is, I think, in my opinion, the virus. The virus is not the virus itself. The virus is internet. The virus is media. I love internet. I love social media. It's my job. I've been studying that. I love social media. It's my work. It's my world. But actually, for the virus, I believe 100% that those viral videos of Chinese people that were falling down on the street in the beginning of this story talking about coronavirus and they went viral and everybody saw okay this virus is in China and it's getting uh, it's getting dangerous and now it's here that's what started everything the talk the viral videos the internet the social media the viral content not the virus so I think this is the first virus in the entire human history that is made of internet, made of social media, is made of what people saw on one video or one content or whatever through social media and through internet. This is my honest opinion about what's happening right now. Because here, I don't know in your country, I don't know where you're watching from, but here is crazy. People are getting crazy. People don't go out in the street. If you go out right now, there's nobody. People don't buy in stores, so economy is collapsing. Uh, restaurants and bars are collapsing. They don't even sell anymore. Uh, the only thing that keeps going are stores and pharmacies. So. That's it. All the other things are collapsing, so it's really hard. And I, I'm one of the guy that, yeah, I'm worried about the virus. Not that much because I know it's not that big as media say. I'm worried about what people think because it's really easy to make a viral news and to make people think about, uh, think and talk about it. So this is psychological terrorism that people are exploiting, and it's getting. Uh, it's not under control anymore so I think we should just um, understanding what's really happening and understand where does it come from and why is it happening and stop doing this crazy stuff uh, staying two meters one from the other not going to bars all the events uh, trips uh, transportation, everything's cancelled. I think this is way too much. 
way too much and this is a way to make people even more worried about it and so even worse and worse and worse so this is my honest opinion because this thing is getting old not old but it's getting like bad topics like racism discrimination and our stuff going up again so yeah protection is a thing from a virus social bad things <laughs> are another so protection is good exaggerating is not being careful is good make people over worried is not good so this is my honest opinion I hope you guys understand my opinion. This is a, a weird moment here. You're, we are blocked, we are stuck here, we can do anything. Schools are closed, universities are closed. Uh, the only thing that work are just some businesses, but not that much, not that many. So, I don't know, this is a weird situation. I don't think it's just for media. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. This is the situation in Italy. Leave a comment below what you think about it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.